this one may be uh, a little more personal than some of the other books that I've talked about. One of the things that intrigues me about World War II, and there's a lot that can intrigue you, is what the Nazis did with the artwork, particularly in Paris, when they invaded. And, of course, you're talking about primarily the Louvre, but also a lot of great personal collections of the masters of, of art, painting-wise, that were taken away. Some have never been recovered. Their whereabouts unknown. Some were believed to have been destroyed. And others, many others, thousands of others, were hidden by the French patriots in wherever they could find, in cellars, in wells, in attics, uh, in places that they hoped the Nazis wouldn't find them. And a lot of the great artwork that's in the Louvre today and other museums in Paris, in fact, was art that was hidden from the Nazis, and that's why we still have it. Now, this book is a novel, but it is one of those historical novels that is based in large part on fact about a dad who was an art collector and promoter for the likes of Matisse and Picasso, and during World War II had innumerable art objects which were lost, stolen, destroyed by the Nazis. And the story of what happens with a child who, after World War II, seeks to find those great artworks. And it's about the search. And the search is about how the pictures were taken and what was done with them, those that were destroyed and those that were hidden. No, it's not necessarily all technically correct, but a lot of it is very factual about some of the great artworks of our time. And perhaps most interesting, there are three or four pictures in this book of artworks by the likes of Matisse that have never been found. Nobody knows whether they were destroyed, whether somebody still has them, whether they are still hidden somewhere. There had been pictures taken, though, of some of these art pieces. So you get to look at some of the artwork that we no longer have with us, or at least we don't know where it is. The novel is wonderful, the character development in it regarding those people she goes to see after the war to, after the war to try and find this artwork is really interesting. And they tell you about what happened when the Nazis came to take the art, what they did before and after. It's a really good historical novel, very well written. And again, if you like history and you like art and you like the history of World War II, all of that gets blended into this book.